Hi, my name is Aman and I'm a Chartered Professional Accountant practicing in the Metro Vancouver region of British Columbia, Canada. In this video, I will discuss the case of Jackman vs. The Queen, which is a 2022 TCC case. And it is a refreshing and a good reminder of the law on personal use benefits that shareholders might receive when using corporate assets. The appellants operated a business that provided a diverse range of goods and services to communities in the region in which it operated. The business used a 36-foot yacht to stay at other marinas and at boat shows, where the owners would mingle socially with the boaters and promote the use of their business, and as well as operating a promotional booth when at the boat show. Now, some of the marketing activities involving the pleasure craft, that is the boat and the jackmans, might have been pleasurable and fun. However, the business owners were cautious and with the advice of their tax accountant, valued their personal use of the pleasure craft at $18,000 per year and compensated the corporation by this amount. The Canada Revenue Agency wanted more than the 18,000 annual valuation of the Jackman's personal use of the pleasure craft. So, the Canada Revenue Agency reassessed the Jackman's. Ultimately, the case landed in the Tax Court of Canada. The issue before the Tax Court of Canada was to determine the value of a shareholder benefit with respect to the personal use of a boat owned by the corporation. The CRA took the position in tax code that the Jackmans used their role as shareholders of the corporation to use its resources to buy the pleasure craft so that it would be available to them for their personal use. Well, the taxpayers argued that the main use of the boat was to market the marina. The business owners would take the boat out to meet other boaters at smaller marinas. The business owners described these marketing activities as being very successful. The revenues increased year over year because of these activities. The various marketing activities which they did included creating opportunities to socialize with clients, dining at other marinas, entertaining others on their boat, chatting up boating in the region and their marina and facilities. Moreover, the boat was insured for these purposes. The business owners stated that personal use, for example, taking friends or family out for whale watching, etc., was only occasional. Well, the judge in this case said that once it is established that the business marketing activities were bona fide and primarily undertaken for business purposes and that the expenses were reasonable, it really did not matter that the marketing involved socializing with the clients, potential clients and other persons or entities relevant to its business. The judge reiterated the principle that CRA is not permitted by the courts to second guess a business's marketing strategy, even if they are unsuccessful in generating revenue. The judge found that the personal use was around 5%. So the charge paid by the taxpayer for such personal use of 18,000 per annum was reasonable in this case, according to the judge. So there was no shareholder benefit and hence there were no additional tax to be paid on these kind of shareholder benefits. Well, you see, using a chartered professional accountant helps because he will advise how to manage the soft areas and record keeping problems and keep aggressiveness to a minimum. This story shows the expertise of the tax accountant who gave trial worthy advice. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. If you want to be notified about my new tax updates, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Bye.